Look at this jar. Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. I wanna say what's up to all my subbies and I wanna say what's up to all the newbies and that's anybody checking me out, maybe for the first time, maybe for the second. Honey, we do not count around here. We really don't. I just want all of my subbies and all of my newbies to get it together and come on in, come on in, come on in. Okay, so for today, today we got a little review, okay? So we're going off script again. Mm -hmm. So about, I think a couple of videos ago, as I was giving an update on my hair, as we do around here about every eight weeks, I also sort of tiptoed into the conversation as far as skin and how it's good for us to keep on top of not only our hair, but just everything in between, which would also include our nails, our inside health, as well as skincare. And so I was telling you guys a little bit about this Tatcha cream that I came upon not too long ago. I got a little sample from Sephora. Well, honey, I got to tell you that just like I said before, that I, I'm gonna have to just get a, a big vat and just dip my face in it because it's so good on my skin. It really helps to make it feel soft and especially nourished during the winter, during these winter months. Well, newsflash, they didn't, they, they didn't have a vat. They, it doesn't come in that size. So what I did was I got the next best thing and I ordered a big jar of it. I got it from Sephora. You know how I get excited about new things around here. So I had to come in here and show you guys what I got. So without further ado, we got mail. We got mail, mail, mail. We got mail. We got mail, mail, mail. We got mail, y'all. And just in case there's some brand Nubians coming up in this piece for the very first time, we got a song for just about everything up in here. Get into it. So I ordered this from Sephora. And again, I just wanted to share it with all of you very quickly, show you what I got, show you what I'm working with, and then we can skedaddle and get up out of here. So we're gonna get right to it. I got the, I got the big size of the Tatcha. This is 2.5 fluid ounces. And this is called the gratitude size because I believe there's three versions or three sizes on Sephora. There's a very small one, middle one, and then there's a big one. So there's a baby bear, there's a mama bear, and there's a papa bear version of Tatcha. And I got the papa bear. And I just want you guys to get into this box. It's very, very pretty. I didn't expect this. I thought it was going to, just gonna be a plain, you know, box. I'm new to Tatcha. So I just thought it was gonna be, you know, just plain Jane, which is absolutely fine. But it looks to have some type of lavender up top, meaning just a drawing of the lavender plant or lavender flower. Maybe, maybe not, but maybe this is visually a throw to what the jar looks like, which is, which is a lavender, it's like a purple. So it's very pretty, I'm loving the boxing, I'm loving the packaging. And this is a Japanese-based beauty company and they make lots of products for the skin including this so i'm opening this up for the very first time because you know we we besties around here so we like to do things together so i'm just going to open this up and again the packaging is very nice I, I i can definitely appreciate the aesthetics of the packaging it's very nicely packed it gives you a little pamphlet. So it's basically talking about the core beliefs of Tatcha, the company, as well as some of the other products that they offer. And when you look inside the box, oh my goodness. I think this is the prettiest jar I've ever seen. I think this is the prettiest jar not only have I ever seen, but that I have as far as any products that I own as far as skincare, as far as makeup. This is very pretty. And 
and it comes with a, <laughs> I love it. On top, it comes with a little, a little spoon or a scoop to help get the product out of the jar. Instead of using your fingers and maybe cross contaminating, you know, the jar with something else or the product with something else, that is gorgeous. And it's secured on top through these like little loops on the lid, metal loops on the lid. It's just so, the packaging on this is A plus. Now again, just in comparison, this is this is Big Mama or, or, or Big Bertha. I think we used Bertha before. What else is a, a robust name for product? Mm, let's go with Gertie. This is Big Gertie. And this is the little bitty baby that I got as the sample. When I got this, I wasn't expecting all of this. I almost don't want don't even want to open it. I'ma do it for y'all though. I'ma do it for y'all. I'ma carefully open this. Okay. okay, so underneath the lid, you get a protective lid right here that lifts right up. It has a little lip and you lift that up. Don't you drop it. And that is the cream. That is where the magic happens. So not only is the jar lavender, but the product itself is lavender. And you can sort of tell that it's pretty thick. Okay, but it's a nice consistency. And it has a very faint fragrance, if you will. I, as I described it before, it's not a pervasive, heavy smell. It's very light. And once you put it on your skin, it dissipates anyway. You can't really smell anything. But it's a very nice consistency. Even me tilting it to the side, there's no real danger of it sliding out. It's sort of, it's a stiff cream. So we're gonna put that right on the back and there. Now the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, this is boasted to replenish and plump skin. And it does all this through the antioxidant rich properties of Japanese purple rice. Okay, so hence the, the color or the reference to purple, that motif. And you don't need much. I really don't need much when you use it. And I just put my little finger in here clean fingers and I just dip it out with my nail but now that I got big big Gertie I can dip it out with the little with the little spoon with the little scooper but before then I would just dip out a little bit and I would just rub it between my two ring fingers and then I would just apply it to my skin and I just use it on my face and I use a little bit on my neck and that's pretty much it and just to give you a reference uh, my skin is sensitive, but it's pretty normal. So I get like maybe dry patches around my temple area and maybe sometimes around my nose, like on the tip of my nose during winter time, but that's pretty much it. Everybody is different. Everybody's skin is different. Everybody has different needs for their skin. We talk about the hair and the, the skin is no different. So with that being said, this is what works for me. And I wanted to share with all of you guys and give you an update as far as what I am now using on my skin. So for those who may be looking for something that packs a punch, that boasts hyaluronic acid and has antioxidant properties, as well as a mixture of botanical extracts, including ginseng and wild thyme. Now also on top of that, it boasts to be paraben free it's not supposed to have any synthetic fragrances and it does not use mineral oil. If you're looking for something that's basically a potent elixir of all these things to help bring moisture to your skin, then this may be something for you. Let me put this out there. I am not sponsored. I spent my own coinage on this because I really liked it. Again, it's hard to really find products and then you fall in love with products and they disappear or discontinue or just, just diss you all together so when i tried this i didn't have too much I, I didn't have too much stock in it working well i just figured hey it's a sample but i was and am pleasantly surprised and i just wanted to pass that on to you guys anybody who's looking for something that is really going to nourish and have your skin feeling nourished at the end of the day 
Now, just real quick, we're going to go over the little samples because when you order from Sephora, they give you little, little, little samples, you know. So I did pick out the Tatcha Clarifying Clay Mask. I wanted to see how this would work. This says it clarifies and balances for smooth, hydrated skin. It's supposed to gently exfoliate, okay, via the J Japanese volcanic ash, which also helps to open up the pores and, and cleanse them as well. So with that being said, I don't really have an issue with my pores overall. I mean, I see a couple of things, but not too much. But I figure, oh, this is, uh, this is in turquoise, okay? This is like a turquoise. Just gonna open this up. So this too has a light smell uh, or fragrance and there's the ash right inside. I'm hoping you can see it. So it's not black, it's like a cement, it's like a cement gray. Needless to say, I'm gonna try this too on my skin and uh, see see what that's what that's hitting for the Tatcha Clarifying Clay Mask, as well as I got a Makeup Forever sample. I figure why not? You know, right now I use Laura Mercier, but I do like Makeup Forever. I do have some of their shadows, their eyeshadows. And I think I have one of their, yeah, I do have one of their lipsticks, but I heard a lot about their makeup. And this is their, this is their Ultra HD Makeup Forever Light Capturing Self Setting Concealer. And it's so funny that um, one of my, I just recently did a video on one of the perfumes that I recently bought that I absolutely love. And I picked out another perfume. This is by Gucci. And this is, this is Gucci Bloom. Uh, it's not bad. It, it, it is more floral, uh, cause like I said in my, in my video, I'm a sweet girl. So I like vanillas and I like, you know, spice and I like this and that, but this actually isn't bad. So we'll, we'll see what, what happens with this. And this is an eau de toilette, just in case you were wondering. So that's it. I done bumped my gums long enough. I just wanted to come in here and follow up with what I had said before as far as in my other video where I talked about hair, skin, and nails and wanted to give you the update that I got Big Gertie. I got the big version of the Tatcha. I got the 2.5 ounces. So that's about it. I gave y'all an update and now we are about to skedaddle. So what do you think? I think we should, and that's what we're about to do. So that wasn't too bad, right? We were in and out, okay? I want to thank you so much for dialing in and showing up. I really do appreciate it. I really do. I really do. And yeah, we'll be back talking about some more stuff. Honey, you got to come on back because we're going to be talking about some more stuff. So you got to come back for that. So you already know. It's going to be the same Dolce Dial. It's going to be the same Dolce Channel. So you come on back. All right.